pulls out. Hi, I'm Perry from Unger Guitars and Unger School of Guitar Making, and I just got my Bang Build guitar kit in the mail. And uh, as you can see here, I've laid it out. This is what I want to make. I've got my neck resting over here. And uh, it dawned on me that not everyone has a bandsaw. So if you don't have a bandsaw, check this out. All you need is a, I happen to have a vise on my workbench. If you don't have a vise, all you need is a clamp and a surface to hold your guitar to. Uh, what I have right here is a rod saw, also known as a tile saw. Six bucks off of Amazon. Um, I can take this here and I can cut my profile out this way. This saw makes pretty quick work of this alder. The one important thing if you're going to take this approach is let the tool do the work let gravity pull the saw down all the saw needs you to do is move it back and forth and sort of guide it with pressure not necessarily brute force you don't need to squeeze the handle to get the saw to work better it'll cut just fine on its own now if you want to start investing in tools another uh, hack around getting a bandsaw is a scroll saw. You can often find these on Craigslist from anywhere from 50 bucks to 100 bucks. This happens to be an old craftsman that I scored off of Craigslist. And uh, if I turn this little sucker on here, I can fit this in here and with the right blade. It'll take a while, but I can go ahead and cut this out fairly easily and precisely which is what's really nice about a scroll saw I can get really on that line which is going to minimize the amount of profiling and shaping I'm going to have to do to this body so I wanted to share that quick hack if you don't have a bandsaw or a jigsaw there are other ways to cut these bodies out I'm Perry from Unga Guitars I will see you next time